Hi guys. This video will show you how to fix the mouse cursor disappeared on Windows 10. So let's get started. And I also understand your situation that you are not able to use the mouse. So I'll be using my keyboard. On your keyboard, press window and R. You will see a run window. And here we need to type dev mgmt dot msc. Once you do that, hit enter. A new window will appear, such as device manager. Just press the tab key, and with the help of down arrow key on keyboard, go to mice and other pointing devices. Now here we need to press the right arrow key. Now I get the options of mice and other pointing devices. So I'll select my mouse cursor which is usually for Windows 10 hit compliant mouse. So I'll select it and press enter. Now I need to press the tab key to select the general tab. I'll select the general tab, I can press the right arrow key to select the driver tab. And then again I will keep on pressing the tab key to go to an install device. And then I'll press enter. And I'll click on uninstall by pressing enter. So the moment I do it the driver has been removed. Now what I'll do, I'll press the alt key and A. Now with, that, with the help of down arrow key, I'll select the scan for hardware changes, and hit enter. It will start scanning for the device. And the driver will be installed and it will fix your problem. The cursor will appear back. And if it doesn't fix your problem, then we will move to the next step. We need to select the mouse driver again, and hit enter. Press the tab key to select the general tab. And then the right arrow key on the keyboard. And then again, I'll be keep on pressing the tab key to go to disable device. And then I'll press enter. And with the help of tab I'll say yes. So this will actually disable my mouse. And I'll press enter again, and it will enable it again. So it will fix your problem. The mouse cursor will appear back. And if it doesn't, we will move to the third step. And the third step is we need to go to the update driver section. So with the help of tab key, I'll go to update driver, and hit enter. And then again I'll press enter to search automatically for drivers. And if it shows the best driver is already installed. Then I'll press the enter again to select the windows update here. Alright so make sure you just select this search for updated drivers on Windows Update. And it will take another 2 to 3 minutes to update the drivers of your mouse. If it doesn't fix your problem then we'll move to the fourth step. Again in the update driver. So we will hit enter, and this time we will select the browse my computer for drivers. With that down arrow key, I'll hit enter. And I'll select let me pick so this is actually a rollback. So let's say if you have accidentally updated or something happened to your machine and it got corrupted, and I need to roll back my driver. Because my cursor is not working, so I'll select this option. Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. So I'll hit enter again. Now hit compliant mouse. The bottom one is already selected. So I'll press the tab. And I'll select the top one with the help of the upper arrow key. And then I'll go to. I'll press tab again to select the next. Once the next is selected, I'll hit enter. And the rollback of your driver will be done, and most probably it will fix your problem. But if it doesn't we will move to the fifth step. So the fifth step is actually a last step which we are going to do is you need to press the window and R key. Okay and if you have Chrome installed in your machine, then just type Chrome. So once you type Chrome hit enter. And Chrome will open. Here you need to type, Windows 10 mouse driver and then hit enter and scroll it down and look for the Microsoft website so I have found the Microsoft website with the help of arrow key with the help of tab I am going to select the Microsoft website from here here I just have to press enter so it will open up the Microsoft support website and I'll just click on down arrow key with the help of keyboard and select the tab again so I'll select the 64 version because we have 64-bit computer, we found that 64-bit version. Then hit enter. It will automatically download the file. It is a Z executable file. Once downloaded, I will press Windows plus E to open this PC. Go to the download folder with the help of tab. Now select the downloaded file, and press enter. Thanks watching this video.